Hey everybody, today I want to talk about something about airdrops that I don't think is getting talked about enough right now, and I, I think is just important to address. That being said, if you're new here, my name's Ozzy. I'm all about airdrops and creating wealth in 2024 and 2025 during this crypto bull run. That being said, everything I say is not financial advice, and it's just I'm posting this for educational and entertainment purposes. That being said, if you do like the content, please consider dropping a like or a subscribe. It really makes a difference for me and the channel, and I hope it'll help reach other people and help other people learn. Now, we're in airdrop season meta. Uh, if you don't know what a meta is, essentially crypto and other things, other markets go through this where there's one big narrative. If you think back to the previous bull run, there was the Olympus DAOs and all of its forks. There's strong nodes. You had the Time Wonderland. And then you had rebase tokens. If you think about DeFi, deep DeFi. When something becomes a meta like that, if we think further on, fake trading bots were a huge thing. Uh, there were tons of different, different kind of metas. When they become a big thing, they tend to get abused. So what does, what do I abused? So generally you will have one big project. There might be a couple of smaller projects that come from it that do really well. Then there's a lot of scams or maybe not scams, but not very beneficial, not very good projects that kind of come out of it or projects where the value exchange isn't there. And I don't want to say that that's exactly what's happening in, in crypto right now with airdrops, but I feel like they're starting to be a bit of a trend, a bit of a pattern. And I want to warn people because I think that there's something that you need, like you need to think about this and you need to consider this because I've had a lot of people reach out to me telling me oh, how burnt out they are from airdrops and I also see people posting all of these random airdrops or sending them to me and they're like, can you make a guide? Is this worth doing? And I felt like I needed to make this kind of in response to that. Again, I'm not saying that any of these airdrops necessarily, any of them out there are scams because I don't really think they're scams. But I do think that we are seeing airdrops become less about a fair value exchange. And more about basically protocols farming you. Yeah, I, I think the farmers are being farmed right now. What, what does that mean? How are you being farmed? Airdrops usually are a value exchange. You're trading some time and some money, usually, or risking some money but not losing it along with a bit of time. For a reward that, generally speaking, not always, is usually worth equivalent. You spend 10, 15 hours farming Starknet over a few months, do about 15, 20, 30 transactions, and you get $500 to $1,000. If you were farming with small amounts, if you were farming with larger amounts, maybe you got a, couple th a few thousand, maybe 10,000. And if you did that over a lot of wallets, over a whole bunch of time, you could end up with 100,000. I didn't farm Starknet. I, f I faded that one. But that, in most cases, would be fair value exchange. Starknet did some things that I think are stricter that teeter on the edge of not being fair value exchange, but in most cases, resembled a fair value exchange. But we're seeing a lot of tiny projects announcing airdrops or oh they're doing quests and wink there might be an airdrop and i think that is where a lot of people are getting farmed right now they're these projects they might be able to airdrop you 10 15 dollars maybe if you're a mega whale you've got you get three or four hundred dollars from them but the projects just don't have the value they're not a big enough project to be worth your time or your money, at least not the level of energy that you need to put in to make it worth it. Like, 
it's one thing if you're farming and it's taking you 10 to 15 hours over a few months to get 500 to ten thousand dollars depending on if you go after the right metrics you hit the right timing with the snapshots and everything and it's another when especially what i'm seeing with bear chain right now to five hour ten hours a week buy this nft participate in this lottery do this do that for an airdrop that probably going to be dust it's probably going to i think most people will get sub 100 dollars you guys can come back to this video and say, tell me I'm wrong in the future. But more likely than not, that airdrop's probably going to be $100. Less than $100 for anyone that participates. You, and for some people, because it's free to, to farm, that, might, that $100 might be worth it. But really, I think a lot of these protocols are farming you. You need, because everyone's stuck in this craze, you need to pull your head up, look through the crowd, and focus on where the real value for money exchange is. You, you'll see, like, I haven't put out a hundred guides because I don't think that every airdrop that's out there right now is worth your time. And I'm not going to make a, I don't want to make a guide for an airdrop that I don't think is worth your time or worth your money. Pulling your head up and looking on how to farm efficiently, that's how you end up being a big, bigger winner. The people that just jump from little airdrop to little airdrop are the ones that are probably going to end up with tons of $5, $10, maybe $100 airdrops and miss out on the big opportunities, the scrolls, the layer zeros, the wormholes, the ZK sinks, the lineas, maybe base, like all of these much bigger airdrops that they've got more time, but good goodness, the potential value exchange is so much higher. You are, these are projects that are probably going to have valuations in the billions rather in the un sub 100 million. And that's something that I think you need to also think about when you're looking at airdrops. How much has that project raised? You are probably being farmed if the project is has raised sub 100 million. Realistically, projects that have raised sub 100 million are probably farming you to either go get another round of funding to hopefully get bigger and build more stuff or are just farming you for the fees. If they're a lending or bor and borrowing platform or they're a very tiny blockchain or they're some DAP, they are either very likely farming you for fees or for their own future airdrops. And so by being smart and picking the right airdrops, a, you'll have more time to spend on the airdrops that matter. I think spending three hours a week on the big airdrops, yeah, it might take more time. We might not see airdrops till Q2, Q3, Q4 of this year, but those airdrops will likely be much bigger than running around spending three to five hours a day on some free test net or on with some tiny lending and borrowing platform. That being said, if you've got some extra time and you've gotten your 10 transactions across a whole number of wallets on scrolls, UK sync, layer zero, linea, and you want to go spend a little time going after one of these and, or you're taking a calculated risk on, Hey, I think this one could be big in the future. And so I want to take participate or it's part of, it's an airdrop that or a platform that's part of another one of those big airdrops, like what's a it's C, sync swap on Z on ZK sync or on scroll. They you could easily interact with that while also farming those airdrops, so it just makes sense. But going to some small, far off test net that probably doesn't have a lot of liquidity, it just doesn't make sense. Or some tiny protocol launching on a blockchain that's got 100 million TVL or less than 100 million TVL 
just the value exchange just might not be there, especially because everybody right now is listening to those Twitter influencers that are saying, oh, look at this. It'll cost $5, 10 minutes, and you can make $5,000 on some random tiny airdrop. Most people are following them and listening to them. And so you're ending up competing with a million different people. The thing that they're not talking about is the scrolls, these bigger airdrops that are going to take more time, but will end up being larger rewards. I'm not an expert. I'm not perfect. And maybe there are some of these airdrops that they're calling that are just in testnet phase or are very small projects that might end up blowing up. Totally possible. But right now, you've got, as an investor, as a crypto user, as an airdrop hunter, you need to discern what are the good opportunities from the bad ones. Where are you being farmed and where are you actually farming? So I know this is a different type of video, but I think that it's really important. There are airdrops out there that are farming you. Discern the different projects. Figure out which ones are good, which ones are actually worth farming, and which ones are farming you. If you want some help with that, come check out the free Discord. I chat in there. Ask me about that airdrop that you're interested in. Do you think it's do I think it's worth it? Do I think it'll be a big one? Or ask the community in there. We're always talking and sharing our, our feedback on, oh, I just saw this post by so and is this a worthwhile airdrop? And from there, you can make the decision for yourself, but work with a great crowd trying to discern the good from the bad, the worthwhile versus the unworthwhile. Working together in crypto is one of the most important things. Having that strong community around you and helping get you focused and figure out, oh, yes, I should spend my time on this rather than on this is one of the best things that you can have. That's why my community is open. It's free. I want to surround myself with the smartest people, the other smartest people out there in crypto. I want to help other people do well this bull cycle and kill it this bull market and jump on in. Don't be afraid to ask your questions. We talk about airdrops. We talk about a tons of other things in crypto. And sometimes we just talk about life. Come join this great community of amazing people, all talking about crypto and, and trying to help each other kill it this market. That being said, I hope you appreciate and enjoyed my little rant. And thank you for watching the video. I'll see you on Tuesday with the Decentralized News. Don't forget to check out some of the other guides, either in the playlist or on the channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.